Hey YouTube, I got a quick PSA for you. All right. There is no black community. Hear me and hear me well. There is no black community without brown skin and dark skin black women. All right. Despite some people's opinions of this, there is no black community without brown skin, dark skin, black women. You know? And I think this is something that the colorist folks, you know, the colorist light skin women, biracial women and the colorist dark skin, brown skin men need to sort of realize that you, and I think they do realize that. They do, I think. That's why when the brown skin, dark skin women start, you know, disrupting the status quo by trying to define who is a black woman and who is not a black woman, there is pushback from that. Notice that. When black women try to define who's a black woman and who is not a black woman, you know, and what a black woman is, there's pushback from those two major groups or those two groups I should say I should say you know and I think those both of those groups know that it's an inconvenient truth for those two groups you know they wish that they could divorce themselves so, you know the colorist ones the colorist ones I'm saying they wish that they could divorce themselves of the brown skin dark skin black women but because of the amount of brown skin, dark skin, black women, and that being actually the standard of what a black woman is, you know, not a biracial, no, not a light skin woman, mm -hmm. a brown skin, dark skin, black woman, you know, <clears throat> you kind of see people, you know, the people taking a different stance on it, where it's like, Instead of trying to totally just remove her from the community, they will keep her in the community. But they will, you know, do the shaming and gaslighting tactics, right? Because they don't want to lose that support. Because they know without that support, things are going to go left really quick in the community. All right, really quick. Because for one, biracial and light-skinned women are a super minority, a super minority. I know the media may have you fooled thinking that it's just so many different light-skinned, biracial, you know, black-identified women, just so many of them. But not really, not really. And because of them being a super minority, for one, there's not enough of them to go around for the brown skin, dark skin men. Let's be real. And some of them, as quiet as is kept, may not even be feeling the brown skin, dark skin men as much as they think they are, right? Who probably didn't fall for the brainwashing, you know? <laughs> you know, I know one YouTuber, I won't mention the name, but this YouTuber often sometimes, like, like refers to like the brown skin, dark skin women as like the ball headed Wakandan female warriors. And she's um dark skin herself, so you know. Um and kinda like feeling like that's how the community sort of treats the brown skin, dark skin women. Kinda like workhorses, mules, right? And they know that they need that workhorse. They need that mule, right? Just recently, we saw that um, Native African, dark-skinned Native African woman scale the um, Statue of Liberty, right? And I think she's facing some type of, like, federal charge on that as well. Um, you know, and they know, you know, the light-skinned biracial chicks ain't used to getting their hands dirty like that. 
<laughs> not so much, you know. They they know who they're dealing with, so they like mm, they kind of they know they gotta kind of have to keep both of them there. But really, that's work that the brown skin, dark skin man should be doing. Cause that's the thing too. This is a bit off topic, but I'm gonna put this in here though. Notice like in the KKK, right, in the neo-Nazis, you don't really see a lot of women participating in those organizations. I don't think they really even allow women to participate in those organizations. You know, they can come to the like events and support their husbands or boyfriends or whatever, but they usually don't even let their women participate in this type of stuff. It's like this is men's work right here. You know, you you know, sit by over there and let us take care of this, right? But when it comes to black organizations, you know, black social justice organizations, oftentimes you see women, black women, probably brown skin, dark skin, black women, leading the charge. Hmm, <laughs> mm, like what's up with that? You know. Again, that's what these brown skin, dark skin, black men need to be doing, not the brown skin, dark skin, black woman. So, uh, you know, it's kind of like, you know, they know that they can't, as much as they would want to, they know they can't push that brown skin, dark skin woman out, out of the community. Because if they do, they know that things are going to go left really quick. <laughs> It ain't going to end well for the community. And plus, it'd be a, pretty much a straight up, just about a straight up sausage fest anyway. And who really wants, who wants that? Well, some folks do, but you know what I mean. <laughs> you know, like, not that, not as, not, we want, you know, the donut, then, you know what I mean. You know, they want the donut options, you know, the plenty of donut options, right? Yeah, of course, you know, who don't? <laughs> but, you know, forgive my, uh, you know, shaky metaphor there. <laughs> um, but I'm going to bring this video to a close now. Thanks for watching, you guys. Feel free to comment. You know, I appreciate the comments. I, be, I appreciate the feedback. Thank you very much. Until the next video, adios and goodbye for now. But one more thing. Notice, you can remove that light-skinned biracial woman from the community. And it would still be... It wouldn't be the same, but it would still be functioning. You know, it was... It would be in a better condition versus if you remove the brown skin, dark skin, black woman. Uh, you know, I hate to say it. Well, I don't hate to say it, but um, I'm just keeping it real. I was just saying. You know, because honestly, that's how it, it should be, really. You know, honestly. Uh, but, you know, some people in the community who like to pull strings and all that sort of a thing and set things up a certain way want to set it up in a certain way that is not conducive to um, the well-being of brown skin and dark skinned women you know and I don't know why that is I think colorism is a hell of a drug you know some people could argue that it's a mental illness you know and I can understand that argument um, you know however sometimes when you make it an illness that triggers you to be sympathetic towards people and sometimes I really don't think these colors people deserve sympathy or empathy you know they deserve to be bust up they goddamn head honestly but you know in due time in due time you know the day will come so adios and goodbye for now